Yo, what's up, guys? Good to be playing some 3 today with Dries, who is GQ's most recent member. He recently replaced Rizzo, and he invited his friend Flitz, who is a Pittsburgh Knights sub, I think. So, when you get into some threes games for today, it'll be using the brand new NASCAR cars from the NASCAR pack. I think we're using the uh, the Ford Mustang for today. So, we're going to be using the Mustang for today. I'll probably do a video with the Camaro as well as the Camry. But uh, for today, we're going to be doing the Mustang. Huge thank you to Psyonix for letting us have access and giving us a free code for today's video. But yeah, let's get into the game for today. Hopefully, we can have ourselves some good games and find out how the car is. All right, we got a sweaty game to start it off. We got uh, Falls, Neskov, and Bristol. This is actually a team, a full team. So let's see how this goes. Playing a full squadron to start it off. There's actually a team that Kronovia had joined for a bit. Falls and uh, Neskov, I believe it was. After he got kicked off Rogue. Pretty good players as well, for sure. Ended up um, own goaling somehow. The car feels quite nice though. Not gonna lie, I played with it and pre-played a little bit. It's my first actual game with it. But uh, I did pre-play with it a little bit and it feels nice. It feels a lot like the Dominus to me. And how like crispy the turns feel. Something I really like about these long cars is the way the turning feels is a lot more like, I wouldn't say sensitive, but it's a lot more like reactive than Octane is the best way to explain it. The Octane turning is like somewhat slower. I don't know how to explain it. It definitely is though, in my opinion. Flip reset. Damn, that's clean. It was actually a really good shot. Is a that was a dominant slip reset for sure. It's like the the front half of the car ended up getting the flip. You don't necessarily need all four wheels on the ball, by the way, for flip resets, guys. It's actually not necessarily what makes or breaks the flip reset when it comes to like long cars, especially. You don't necessarily need all four wheels on the ball. Kind of just like just below the halfway part of the ball. If you get the front half of your car on it, if you get it like that, it's almost always going to work. Really good save from them. It's a hard thing to explain, though. It's just something I've noticed over time. You don't need all four wheels on it. That's why I see some flip resets that you probably think shouldn't be flip resets, and then they end up getting them anyway. A lot of pressure there right now. Pretty hard spot for them to get. I'll hit the ceiling here. See if they can save that. Let's hope all of them will be back wall. Maybe it catch them off guard. Very good pressure though. Good pinch. Can't reach it for a shot, but I can make a panic at least. I'd say it's just as good, especially if it gives my team the ball like it did right there. Go for a bump on one. Fine if I miss it, it creates a lot of pressure. Hit the ceiling here. So I play it to myself, hit it off the back wall. Any touch like that is good, because it always just keeps creating pressure over and over again, right? That's all we're looking to do in those situations. Nice. Can't really follow this up. Then I touch it, then I hit it to the wall. It's going to pass that middle. It's a good pass. Good save from them. I played off to the right. Not necessarily going for a shot of that or even a pass that he can shoot. Just, just touch the hits around the opponent. That's the whole goal there. I'll pre jump to you. Why not? Go for something crazy. I'm hoping maybe you can like absolutely slam the flick off the back wall and I can follow it up. Good shot. Almost a good save, man. They're just stacking net and saving all these shots. Good demo as well. I think there was a demo there. Open up some space. I like that you can have the black and white decal on this, by the way. I didn't go over the decals. I'll show you guys after this game. But there's a couple decals, and I believe you can only use one pair of wheels. But you can use any boost. I'm using the alpha boost on it right now. But yeah, there's a couple of decals you can choose from. And I'm not actually familiar with NASCAR myself, but I'm sure some of them are from the real world. If not all of them. It's a good bump from him. Better recover, get his boost. I just tried the wall dash on this car because it's long, it just spazzes out. I want to try that again. Oh, you can't do it. Okay. It's a little bit harder, too. Seems like. Yeah, it's a little bit harder, too. It comes off easier. But you definitely can do it. I've never really tried that on Dominus. Like, the long cars in general, I haven't really tried the, the wall dash on. Like a double, maybe a triple. Keep the ball close. Go for the boost here. 
There's no real threat yet in this play. Try to go for a demo on the third man. Pressure him again here. Any bumps on the back line, guys, are, are huge. Something you should always try to look for. Definitely annoying when you're the person getting bumped, but if you're the person putting pressure in that situation, it actually helps your team a lot. So good read. Try to get his boost here. I think I got the boost, but I died. I don't know if that's a worthy trade. I think it is. It spawns me back in a good position. I can get full boost. I end up being able to keep playing anyway. Should be a shot here. I like the idea. Not to rush a play. That's smart. Try to just bump him off. Go over some more bumps. Lay the next man up. We didn't have to do much this game to be honest. We had pressure the whole game pretty much. And uh, we're kind of just going with the flow. Going for the ball when we had to, and outside of that, we're just chilling. That's how I like it. Filling in the the gaps. Those are the best threes games when you can just fill in the gaps and you catch the dub. Okay, the next one though, I'll show you guys the decals really quick, but that was a good first up. That was a good matchup. Good opponents there for sure. Let's see uh the decals we're working with while I queue for one more. Decals, decals. Alright, so we got the another black decal here. I like the black decals a lot. They look super clean. Apparently there's a McDonald's one. This one's hot dogs. So that's pretty clean. I love my hot dogs. I love McDonald's and I love hot dogs. So I, I do I do really like these decals, I'm not gonna lie to you. These definitely uh, pertain to me for sure. I'm using this right now because I thought I looked the cleanest. And then we got uh, number 22 here, which I'm guessing is a racer. I'm not sure. I'm not too into NASCAR myself, but I'm sure you guys would know. Alright, we got the same guys for last game. Try to get this to the right. Yeah, I think this white and black decal is definitely the best one. Best of the options. I haven't tried any of the other cars though. I'm curious which one would be the best. They look like they're all the same hitbox though, so I wonder how different they even feel. Probably make a video on each of the other ones though. You guys gotta let me know if you want to see that. If not, then I won't. If you guys want to see my thoughts on all of them, then I'll definitely make a video on the other ones as well. Playing threes honestly isn't the best way to even like showcase a car, in my opinion. Just because you don't get to like see everything about it. But most of the time in threes, you're just trying to play the smartest way you can, right? Trying to play in a way that's good for your team. You don't have to do a whole lot a lot of the time. He missed. That would have been a free goal. Misread him though. I tried to block his touch and he ended up never actually touching it. Try from Dries. Gonna fake this here. Be fine. Faked in a good spot. Rack. I still get back. Try to just pressure him here. Honestly, me dri driving into that ball and not actually flipping into it would have probably been better. Oops. Didn't mean to say that. I was scratching my arm. Gonna have one more touch here. That's fine. Gonna get in the way. Get in the way one more time. Good set of challenges. And the third man went for boost. If the shot came in a little bit quicker, probably a goal, but it was a really tough one to get, to be honest. Wait back wall here. That's fine. Third gets boost. There's gonna be no shot here. Went on the wall with full boost. Should be fine. You can actually follow it up. It's more of like a solo like air dribble attempt than a pass, so it wasn't really possible for me to follow up. It's a good challenge there though. Even though he got it around me, it doesn't really matter. Forces him wide, that's the whole point of that. All three are pushed up here, it's pretty bad for them. Get some pads. Just gotta be careful with the bump, which I knew was coming. I was just a little bit late to jump. Fine if he hits that around. Shouldn't be bad. Forces two of them in, which is actually like there. I don't mind waiting an extra second if it means I lose the challenge, but it baits in two of them. I think that's always a a good thing to do in those situations. That was a smart challenge there. Take my time on the on the ceiling. Wait for the right time to challenge that. Got ourselves to go out of it. Yeah, don't be afraid to wait an extra second. Be a little bit more patient on the defense. Bait in two, maybe even three. And then go for the, the touch after the fact, right? Also, these soft touches that I'm doing to myself a lot are very good. 
creates a lot of space for me and almost always gives me the the favor in the challenges you always want to set yourself up to be in the advantage right you never want to go into a 50 50 or a challenge at a disadvantage and if you are make sure there's a reason for your disadvantage and make sure there's going to be good that comes out of it so i'm going to go into this after he wastes all of his boost and then try to challenge it's going to be the best time to go for it i know he only has one option after that guy wastes all his boost all his only option left is just take a shot and if i'm waiting and i didn't pre-jump and i didn't panic then i'm going to have an easier time at saving that i'm going to fake here make a panic a bit again putting myself in a spot where i'm going to have the advantage when it comes down to actually saving the ball so I'll swing out wide there, try to pass middle, to try on the shot, get safe from them. Let me go back taking these pads instead of a big boost, that way I'm in a better position. Because of that I was able to get back, get boost as well. This is something I should stall time for my team, one of them just died, trying to kill time, one of them can follow now. Soft touch to myself. It's a lot more pressure than if I hit that hard. They also can't hit it back hard if I don't hit it hard to them. Try to take a quick shot. Touch there from G's. Bump attempt. I'll just go for this to keep it in. Again, soft touch to the corner. It's a lot more pressure on them than it would if I went for a, a shot quickly. Alright, hopefully I faked them there. I don't know. I knew I couldn't get a good touch on the ball, but me jumping maybe made them think I would touch it. Might have helped. Might have been a goal regardless, though. Yeah, I think it was a goal regardless. But you never know. If there's anything you could do to make it more unpredictable and make the play harder to read, definitely do it. Especially if you're that close to getting a goal, right? Gonna fake challenge here. Fake challenge again. It's fine that I die there. I have two teammates behind me still. It should be fine if one of them goes. Wait middle. Good bait. Really good job debating two there. Almost the goal to that as well. If uh, if this was waiting a little bit longer, would have probably worked out. There we go. That was a good good save there. Saving our flip to the very last moment. Faking first. Try to pass mid. It's a good idea. Instead of just throwing it away. Take my time. Alright. Good set of games. Definitely played pretty well. Played good as a squadron. The car feels nice. Not gonna lie. It feels really nice. I would recommend getting this if you like long cars only. Because if you're into Octane, I definitely wouldn't use this over the Octane. But if you're into long cars, it feels a lot like the Dominus and it looks pretty clean. And if you're into NASCAR as well, I mean, why not? If I was in a NASCAR, I'd like these cars for sure. So yeah, pretty clean stuff. Good games all around. We use the Mustang for today. I'll use the other two cars if you guys want to see those for the next two videos. Up to you guys completely. And uh, while we're at it, we're trying to get up there on the leaderboards in threes and on twos. We're trying to get back up to like top 20, top 10-ish, something like that. We'll try to do that. So uh, yeah, and I got to do my Road to SSL series still. So we got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. I got to get around to all those things. But there's a lot of tournaments coming up, a lot of busy stuff coming up. But I'll have a huge break pretty soon, right after our also season is done. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. Whatever time it is when you guys are watching this, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love y'all. Peace.